So, what the hell is Catherine? Well, if I were to give it a genre, I would say that it's a romantic, horror, dating, sim, anime puzzle game, but that doesn't really help us much. Maybe it would be better to start with the story and work from there. Catherine has you playing as Vincent, a guy in his mid-30s who goes out drinking with his friends every night and is having some commitment issues with his longtime girlfriend, Catherine. Uh, oh man, how long has it been? That's with a K, not a C. Then one day, he starts waking up next to a sexy young blonde girl, also named Catherine, but with a C, like the game's title. At the same time, he starts experiencing strange nightmares where he's climbing giant walls of crates and competing with anthropomorphic sheep. Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Yeah, it's pretty strange. There's a rumor going around that unfaithful boyfriends are all having the same shared dream and that it's some kind of curse. If you die in the dream, you'll die in real life. This is where most of your playtime happens. You control Vincent as you push, pull, and hop on blocks in a desperate attempt to reach the cathedral at the top of the dream tower. At the end of each night, you're chased by nightmare manifestations of some of your biggest fears. Babies, marriage, and chainsaw babies. Of course. You can't say that Catherine isn't unique, but is it a great game or just a novelty? Personally, I'd say it's pretty great. You can tell that the game's director, Katsura Hashino, was genuinely interested in examining the issues of romantic commitment and chaotic freedom, and his interest embodies the game with something of a soul. The gameplay is great too, as you start to pick up on techniques and complete challenges that would have been unfathomable when you started. It can be incredibly challenging and provokes levels of profanity usually reserved for Dark Souls and Mario Kart, but there's a real sense of accomplishment for finishing the thing. It's not all perfect. The game's supernatural story elements start to overpower the theme towards the end, and it can be a little too obvious with its messaging. The camera during some of the boss battles can be infuriating too, leading to some deaths that could have been easily avoided. But all in all, it's a damn interesting game and worth picking up on the Xbox 360 or PS3.